transferring files to USB stick Mac. I want to take two images and put them on a USB stick. You can left click the video at any time to pause if it's going too fast. First, insert the USB stick into the computer. It's going to pop up where I'm highlighting with the mouse. Now we need to make the USB a FAT32. This is much easier to do on a Windows computer. Find the launch pad. It looks like a little rocket ship on your main taskbar menu. Now look for disk utility. Mine is in the other folder. It looks like a disk drive with a doctor's stethoscope on it. Just go ahead and left click that. Find your USB stick and right click it. This will show a pop-up menu that we can find erase on and start the formatting process. Select erase from the menu. If you have any files on your USB and you don't want to lose them, save them to your documents first. Formatting the USB will completely erase the files. Change the format to MS-DOS FAT. This is the FAT32 format even though it doesn't say 32 at the end. This is the Mac version. Do not change the scheme. It should say the same as mine and it should stay that way. Do not change it. Feel free to rename it to anything that you want. Uh, mine didn't completely saved when I renamed it because it was long and it had a space. It just saved as the letter M. But if you pick one word, maybe name it something off the USB stick. Now you just need to click erase and wait for it to finish. I formatted my stick again after this and renamed it Lexar just for the purposes of this video. After this loads, we are safe to transfer files. There are many ways to do this, and I'm going to show you the way that I do this. If you have a way that works for you, feel free to do it that way. Open up the Finder menu from your taskbar. It looks like a little face. My taskbar is at the side of my screen, but yours is probably at the bottom. You'll want to find your USB stick on the left menu of Finder. Usually they have the name displayed on the stick or the packaging. Hold left click on your desktop to start a highlight, highlighting the files that you want to transfer. Now I can left click and drag one item and it will bring all of the highlighted items with it. You can transfer hundreds of files this way with ease. The red 2 means that I'm holding two files, and the green plus sign means that I'm adding files to the folder I'm hovering over. I'm going to release left click and this will put the files onto my USB stick. I chose the one on the desktop or background. Since I have the USB folder open in Finder, you get to see them load in successfully. This is the most important step, ejecting the USB stick to maintain a healthy file transfer. Right click on the USB folder and select eject from the menu, or click the eject symbol beside the USB folder in Finder sidebar. Our files can get damaged if we don't eject properly. This can lead to the machine not being able to correctly read the files or all of the color changes. The USB stick is now safe to remove from the computer completely. This is an alternative method, also known as copy and pasting. Hold the command key and left click the files you want to transfer. Right click on the files and select copy. It will tell you how many you have selected. If you double left click on the folder, it will open. Right click opens the menu where you can then paste the items. This is good for when you download a folder and want to bring all the designs in the folder. You don't have to select everything in the area. You can just select one item or two items and bring it over with ease, even if they aren't beside each other. The highlighting method will select all of the files it hovers over, and this way you can pick and choose with which files you want to bring over.